You're watching Reason and Theology, a show dedicated to evangelizing non-Catholics and helping Catholics better understand their faith. I was the most obedient person to bishops and popes and everybody. What do you think he would have thought of, of Pope Francis if he were alive today? I know we're just kind of speculating here, but based on his character, what, what do you think he would have thought of him? Uh, my gut feeling about it, he would love a bishop, uh, a bishop uh, Pope Francis. Mm -hmm. He would. Because um, Pope Francis has a Franciscan spirit and also cares very, very much for the poor mm -hmm. and marginalized. And Padre Pio had the same spirit. Casa Sollievo della Sofferenza, the hospital. You know, the, he, take, he took care of the farmers in San Giovanni Rotondo. They were dying left and right. There was no hospital. He said, we have to build a hospital here. So it's the same, um, actually the same policy Pope Francis using to help the homeless and uh, the hungry in Rome. If you, if you heard about it, is he built a shelter at the Vatican. You know, to for the showers and for the food and for the for the homeless in in the city of Rome. Mm. So you know, he would love he would love Pope Francis. He would. And what do you think he would? What what exactly did he think of the Second Vatican Council? Because I mean, he he dies um, <clears throat> a few years after it had concluded. And in fact, I think the yeah. interim interim mass was, was <laughs> going on at the time. What what did he think of Vatican II? <clears throat> You, did you study theology, Michael? Uh, yes, yes. In, fa in fact, I did, Father. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, it has two, two, two phases, two uh, periods. At, at the the very beginning, Padre Pio felt very uncomfortable with Vatican Second Vatican Council mm -hmm. because. He used to celebrate Mass and say prayers in mm -hmm. Latin mm -hmm. for years and years and years. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, you change into vernacular, mm -hmm. say Italian. <laughs> he had a tough time. Right. But he changed it. He, he, he didn't, he obeyed, he obeyed the church. Right. But as far as uh, the theology of the Vat Second Vatican Council, um, the Church of the, the document of the church and uh, etc. He agreed a hundred percent because fresh air, new environment was needed in the church, and John the Twenty Third did according to Padre Pio and according to the Word, I think. John the Twenty Third did the right thing for uh, for the Vatican, Second Vatican Council. Yes, he was very proud of the Vatican Council. A brief answer. At, at the beginning, he felt uncomfortable to change language, language and uh, uh, ritual, mm -hmm. but he, 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 did, he, he did it. But he adjusted to it. Oh wait, before you go, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting this channel. This is my primary means to provide for my family, and it also helps me to produce content like this video. If you would like to support me, become a patron by visiting patreon.com forward slash reason and theology. You'll also get access to extra exclusive content when you become a patron. Lastly, hit that like button and the subscribe button, and be sure to leave a comment down below. God bless.